Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about time estimations. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hey Frederick, uh, I've started a new job and I wonder how can I tell my coworkers how long a story is going to be when I don't know that myself. So yeah, uh, that's a very good question. This person is a junior developer who has started fresh at a new company and now they're facing the worst question that you can possibly ask a junior developer at least I thought so when I uh, when I had the, had these issues and that is how long are you gonna need how long is this gonna take when are you done because this is a very it's a very tough question for a junior to answer because you don't know usually I can you may know if it's a very simple thing but this is the thing that I've been warning quite a lot of people about the things that you see on blogs and YouTube and so forth like oh this is how you style a button or this is how you make a dialogue in react these are nothing stories in comparison to the stuff that you're gonna do in reality in reality nobody's gonna come up and say how long do you need to make this button they're gonna come up and say hey we have this feature and then they're gonna keep on talking in their own language and basically just explain it from their perspective and it's, there's gonna to be tons of oversights in the specifications and there's gonna be all these other things that they don't think about and then they're just gonna give you that in your lap and ask when are you done and this is where it gets really tricky because now you know not only do you have to already know how long you will have to how long you need to write write the code that is just going to show the thing right but you need to kind of just figure out what it is that they mean by the thing that they just presented usually based on half finished information and then ask the right questions and get a clear picture and then finally make an estimation based on your domain knowledge of the system because and of course knowledge of how fast you are yourself and the only way that you can do this accurately is by having a history to your own work because if you don't have a history then how will you know how fast you are or things of this nature even a senior won't necessarily be able to answer this question all that accurately if they're use if they're just started out at a new company because they don't know the system so for a junior this sucks really really bad and the, the best the honest to god there is no way for you to accurately measure this you cannot you you have no history so you have to guess i mean everything is a guess of course when you time estimate but you can guess well and you can guess poorly. Now, the best tip I can give you for guessing well is to map out the steps that you are going to take. This is a little bit unfair because usually you don't have all that much thinking time when you're asked to, depending on your situation, because usually they just come up and say, hey, how long do you need? Try your best, try your absolute best now to stop yourself from saying, this damn thing that I myself have said so many times and I have burnt my fingers so many times from saying this. Oh, don't worry, it's a quick fix. I'll, 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 I'll just get on that. It's an easy thing, I'll just do it. If you do that, you are basically, and usually, honestly, I don't know about you, but the way, the reason why I usually just responded like this is because I thought that there was some pressure on me to respond quickly and I wanted to make people happy. So I just, whatever they said, oh, this does, unless it really felt scary to me, I would just say, oh, don't worry about it, I'll fix it. It's, it's a quick thing. And it's not. That's the thing. It's usually, it usually isn't. Because as I said, you are if you just assume that when you get the specifications from your stakeholder they are all they are already giving you half half of the information you're going to discover quite a lot of more things and more questions that they didn't, didn't even think of when they were creating the specification so what you have to do is to stop yourself from saying oh it's just going to be a quick thing or something like that or try to respond immediately if you really don't know and say something more along the lines uh, I'm a little bit sure. Can I just have a have a little? I just need to think this through, can, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. And once you have a little bit of thinking time, sit down and really get the specification of the story, and then think about that story and start mapping out a to-do list. I use to-do lists on a daily basis when I work on work work on stories, guys. I have I make so many so so many and i kind of have to because when you're in a 
when you get a little bit higher up in your career, when when you're a junior, usually you're just asked to focus on one thing, one story. But when you 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 get to be a little bit more responsible for other people and stakeholders, such as where I am today, you have like maybe I mean I'm working on maybe three or four things at the same time, and I'm not the sort of person who can keep all of that in my head at the same time. So I have to write down on each story or each card and I keep track of where I am on everything so that I can context switch without for, without forgetting something. And even then it's not perfect. But that is a very good tip. Start by mapping out all the questions that you could possibly think of for this work that you're asked to do. And you're going to discover that you have some question marks about things that you may not know something or something isn't really adding up or something is missing. And then you go and ask your stakeholder, the person who made the specification, uh, well, how do you think about this? What is, how is that supposed to go? Uh, this wasn't written down here. What does this mean and what do I do? What do you want to happen here? And you keep on doing that process until you basically have a rough idea of all the steps that you need to take in order to deliver on this. Now, that's gonna leave you with a better gut feeling for roughly how much work you're going to have to invest and how long this is gonna take. And sometimes, especially when you're new at the company or if you're inexperienced, you're going to find that, well, you don't really know how this part of the system works. So one of these to-dos might be that, damn it, I'm asked to implement a feature that has to do with an area of the system that I don't actually know. So one step here would be that I need an introduction to this code by a more senior developer. And then you simply state that, oh, that I'm gonna need a bit of an introduction to do this. And that's perfectly fine because it's that's actually more effective than you sitting there for and spending maybe several days to reverse engineer all that code in order to figure out how this part of the system works. So that's the best tip that I can give you. So what I want you to take away from this is that it is a really sucky situation to be a junior and get that scary question, when are you done? Because you simply don't know, because you don't have a history. And without a history, how would you know? But I'm sorry that, to say that you have to deal with this question. Everybody has to deal with this question. And the best tip I can give you to deal with this question is to take some time to really think through what you're going to do. List out as a to-do list or something like that, all the steps that you need to take or all the questions that you have and so forth and so forth. Just try to map everything out. And when you have done that, you will find that you have things that you don't really know, things that are uncertain. And try to answer those questions before you give your estimate. This will help because when you first get the question, you might get overwhelmed because you don't have enough information. But with this process, you will at the very least have a better idea of all the things that you need to get right in order to deliver on this feature. And that hopefully will give you a better estimate than you would have given if you were to be like I used to be and just say immediately, don't worry, it's a small fix, just because you want to make somebody happy. Because trust me, making someone happy for a second is not that great if you compare it to how likely you are to actually get that estimation wrong. So try to not make someone happy just right now, try to actually get the estimate as right as you can make it and have a great day.